What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I would get started in sugar daddy dating if I was starting from scratch, uh, like right now. Right now, the time of watching this video, if I was somebody who was interested in uh, this lifestyle and this uh, sort of method of interacting with women, what are the things I would do in order? Here we go. So let's say that I'm somebody who is uh, interested in sugar daddy dating for whatever reason. Probably the main reasons, like I mentioned in other videos, it'd be like, guys are busy. Number one, uh, guys are busy. Many of the people I've spoken to, like have been clients in my business, are uh, guys that have their own their own businesses, they're entrepreneurs, very busy professionals. They don't necessarily have time to do um, like dating apps and swipe apps and things like that. The second thing would be is if you're frustrated with your experience on dating apps and swipe apps. They could be frustrating, it seems to be a lot of luck involved with whether or not you can meet the type of people that you want to meet and a lot of people just don't have that experience right so you're doing that you're busy you don't have a lot of time you're already frustrated with the type of people that you've been meeting the type of dates you've been going on and you're just ready for a change so here you come if i was going to get started with sugar daddy dating the number one thing i would do first is i would actually step back i would just take a whole step back and i would ask myself like what do i want to get from this experience i would start with setting an intention of what I even want to get out of the experience before I got on any other websites before I started thinking about my bio and pictures all of which are important all of these things are important but I'll just start thinking about what do I want so for me when I got into sugar dating a few years ago the main thing that I wanted was just to have uh, connections with very interesting and beautiful women period I wanted to make like fulfilling and genuine connections with beautiful interesting intelligent women and I wanted to be able I was willing to do whatever it took to get to that point. Um, and that's how I got started. So just setting an intention. I want to have connections and relationships, experiences with uh, women that are intelligent. And I keep saying this over and over, but this is what I was telling myself. This is, if, this, if I start with this as an intention, then everything else kind of comes from there, right? And if, if your motivations are different, then be honest with yourself. The thing is that you don't have to show them to me, to your best friend, to your mom. You just have to know inside of your own head, okay, I'm doing this because I want X result and then the other thing that's important is because a relationship is not just one person it's not just you what you want is two people so the other thing you have to think about is well what am I willing to give to this other person to bring them into my world right because you want this other person to be a part of uh, your life you want to share experiences with them whatever those are dinner uh, concerts traveling sex da, da, da. whatever it is that you want to to do with this other person you want to make it a cool experience for them too so then I asked myself number two what am I willing to give to this other person in order to uh, bring them into the world like in, into my world so uh, one of that is resources of course we're talking about sugar dating resources is in the conversation but also I was willing to be compassionate offer them like sort of guidance or mentor mentorship a lot of times the women that I was dating in sugar were slightly younger than I am or uh, significantly younger than I am and they really sort of needed or wanted a more experienced person's perspective on um, situations that they were in and I was definitely willing to do that if I had any business contacts or professional contacts that I thought would help them I was definitely willing to share some of those with the right person and just of course so we we're talking about resources uh, like not just financial but also professional contacts and I wanted to have a good time I was willing to definitely to take people to like cool and interesting places show them cool and, and interesting things and just share all kinds of experiences um, so that was that so thinking about number one what I wanted and number two what the other person what the sugar baby in this situation might want just think have you ever asked yourself that what does this other person want in this in this negotiation or in this arrangement any relationship with your boss your best friend your brother your dog <laughs> my dog just jumped up here what does this what does this other person want and then working back from there and trying to give them that. That is gonna make you so successful. If you start thinking, what does this other person want in the situation and start working back from there and figuring out a way that you can have your desires and their desires kind of coalesce and meet, intersect with, with each other, that's gonna make you super successful in this. It's not just about what you want. And I, I never promote that um, and it just, cause it doesn't end well. It's not good for you spiritually and it's not gonna end well. So those two things so we got that out of the way the number three thing now we're kind of getting into what we were talking about here is I started asking myself well what kind of person 
do I want to meet on these sugar dating apps? Um, and for me, I started with the physical. I've said before, men tend to fall in love through your eyes, right? Before you care about the person's like inner soul and their personality, you care about visually you know, being visually stimulated. So, number one, somebody who I felt very a very high level of sexual attraction to. Um, number two, so I just kind of got specific. I encourage you to get specific. If you're going to be investing your time and energy and resources into this type of lifestyle, get specific about what you want because because that's actually the main pro of doing sugar dating is that you could be very specific about what it is that you're looking to get out of the situation in a way that you mostly can't in any other way. Like if you meet somebody cool at a coffee shop or here or there or on a dating app, that's a different experience than saying, like I said, okay, I want to meet somebody with a banging body. I just want a really tight banging body. Number two, long legs. I love long legs. Number three, a pretty smile. Those are kind of the main three things. I could go on and on and discuss all the things I wanted, but those are the main things I wanted. I wanted this per a person who looks great in a bikini. The reason why it's important to tell you, to ask yourself this question and to even write it down. So I encourage you get a sheet of paper, your journal, your notebook, uh, the notes app on your phone and write down, write, answer these questions. Number one, what do you want out of the situation? Number two, what does the other person want? What is the person that you're envisioning? She, what does she want from you? And then number three, start describing the person. The reason why this is important is I'm gonna make another video about crafting your bio on a sugar daddy app. And once we know, once we know the answers to these questions, it's easy to write a really good bio that will attract the, the exact person that you want into your life. All right, so that said, I talked about the physical aspects of what I wanted, and then I started thinking about the personality. Because I mean, just like long legs and a pretty smile, that's fine. But if our personalities don't vibe together, it's not gonna work no matter what. So in terms of personality, I was really interested in meeting someone intelligent. Like intelligent, uh, well-spoken, reads books, is interested in the world. So intelligent, curious, just intellectually curious. Um, and somebody who was passionate about something. And it could have been anything. Like she could have been wanted to be a tattoo artist or uh, start a fashion line or be a doctor or lawyer, whatever. I just, because that's how I am, I'm a really passionate person with my interests and my lifestyle. So I thought, you know, I really want to meet somebody who, who meets these kind of uh, traits or attributes. And the reason why, like I said, once you start with this, laying this as a foundation, when we get to my other videos about creating a bio and creating conversation and how, how you build that chemistry and that connection, when you start by knowing exactly what you want, it's just like following your recipe. You just go down the list and it's so much easier than kind of just uh, shooting from the hip, shooting blind. So yeah, we talked about those things and um, you know, intellectually curious, just, just smart. Somebody who I can have fun talking to, right? I didn't want to just be sitting across the table or next to somebody in a bar or something and she doesn't have anything interesting to say or to add to the conversation. So that was an important thing for me uh, to get those things. And then some of the other qualities that I wanted were like somebody who was spontaneous, free-spirited, open-minded. Somebody who's very comfortable with her body and who like enjoys sex enjoy sex and is comfortable with sexuality and intimacy that was super important to me and i was honest with myself and i encourage you to be honest with yourself about this also so i had all that written down and sort of plotted out in my head and that was the number one thing that i did first was i got clarity about exactly what i wanted what the other person probably would want and how i could how i could make her life better and the number three i just sort of described the person that I wanted to meet. And these are such an important thing. So hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below if you understand why. Why I started with clarity of purpose and setting an intention and before I even did anything else. Before I even got on a dating app. Before I picked what fucking shirtless picture, pictures to put on there. I got clear about exactly what I wanted and who I wanted to bring into my life in this process. And that made all the difference in the world. So if that doesn't make sense to you, if that does make sense to you, let me know by leaving a comment. And if it doesn't make sense to you, you could also let me know by leaving a comment, but stay tuned because when I make my video about how to craft a profile bio um, and how you bring like the perfect ideal sugar baby for you into your life, we're gonna use all the information that we talked about in this video and it's all gonna make sense. All right, that's all I have for you right now, guys. Stay tuned for my next video about how to create the perfect uh, sugar daddy profile and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.